Okay, so I get quite a few comments asking how I record certain things uh, on the Quest 2, so I decided to just make this video uh, quickly show people the settings I use. Um, so first off, you need your Quest 2 connected, side quest loaded, um, and I've set up these uh, ADB commands. Uh, so what you do is in side quest go to run ADB command, custom command, uh, and then just copy these across. Um, so now with the width and height. Um, if you look at the videos, so height is obviously the height, the resolution. Uh, so I have them set to 2160, um, and the width uh, I have them set to 1280, which is a third, as you can see there, it's divided into three, which then makes up um, the 4K resolution. Uh, and I record three separate videos in the replay mod. Um, so anyway, I'll copy these across. You have to do these one at a time, as far as I know. Uh, so, uh, um, and then if you wanted to do, say, standard HD resolution instead, you could do height 1080 width 1920. The higher the resolution, the harder it is for the quest to record. Um, so that's one of the reasons I switched from like this having two videos side by side, which was still 4K, but it was 1920 and then 1920 again with a height of 2160. You run into recording issues just because it's harder for it to record at that resolution. So I found splitting it into three videos just made it easier for the quest to handle recording. Um, another one you want is full rate capture. This changes it from 30 frames per second, I think it is a standard, to 60 or 72 frames per second. Uh, and the final one is this one increases the bitrate of the recording, uh, which will give you much clearer recordings. Uh, another thing I do is go in here and I set um, is it? I'll try to, I set this to high top. Um, I don't know if it does anything, but every little edge I can get on getting a better quality recording so this just um, reduces the quality of the picture around the edges but I don't think it affects the recording and I also set the CPU GPU level to level 4 um, and that's it for side quest so we'll leave that uh, we'll jump into the quest 2 now and I'll show you what I do actually in the headset. Okay, so here we are in the Quest 2 on Beat Saber. Um, first thing you'll need installed is the replay mod. Uh, if you don't know what this is, it records automatically um, a replay of your best playthrough of a song, um, which you can then watch any time again. Uh, this, so there's three settings, there's normal mode, which I don't really use. Um, that's a fixed position of just your savers doing the motions of the song, which you can walk physically away from uh, that point and look back at um, with your headset. Uh, smooth camera is just first person, uh, but it's smoothed out because the normal recording of the Quest 2 is pretty jerky. Uh, and then there's the third person. Um, so what I do is, I'll do a smooth camera recording and I'll do third person recording twice from two different angles. Uh, so I'll show you this one first. Um, so we've got replay. Always starts in this position. 
Now if you hold down the button on your right controller you can change the direction you're looking but the position remains the same. Uh, so I normally re-angle myself around about here, record, then I'll restart and I'll load back up and if you hold down the A button you can change your position like so by tilting your head so if you lean forward you pan in if you lean back you pan out uh, if you lean left right and then if you like you're standing up you go up and if like you're crouching you go down it takes a bit of getting used to but it's not too bad and you can pan anywhere. Like you can go right, right back here if you want. You can go up here. You know, there's some cool shots. I generally just position it around about here. One thing I've noticed is it records seems to record slightly offset to the right, I think. So or to the left. To the left. Um, <laughs> so I offset it slightly to the right because um, if you have it so it looks dead center in the headset once you go to watch the video you'll see it's slightly offset at least that's my experience um, yeah. so we'll jump out of this and we'll show you smooth motion so this is just same view you would see when you're playing. Um, one thing to note, I do all my recordings with the headset on, sat in a chair with armrests, um, so you want to place your elbows on the armrests and support the headset with your hands just to steady it. Um, this helps with motion sickness because motion sickness is pretty bad with this um, until you get used to it. It also, if you're not supporting it and you move your head around, the recording wobbles slightly. So it helps to just support the headset while you record. I tried recording with the headset off, but it was too inconsistent and just a bit of a pain really. So I just got used to recording with it on my head when I'm watching it. So that's that. Let's jump out of here. Um, I'll try and show you normal uh, without walking into things in my room. So, where am I going? Oh, there's a sofa. There we go. So, yeah. There we go. So uh, it's handy if you don't, if you want sort of um, a perspective without your character model and just the servers. Um, but as far as I'm aware, you have to physically walk around to get the correct position with this. So it's not the best if you don't have a lot of space. Um, but it looks pretty cool. And it's nice for people who don't want the, the character model. Uh, oh. um, right. I think there might actually be a setting. It's been a while since I looked at the settings, to be honest. So, uh, oh yeah, so you could turn off the replay avatar. Um, and then using the third person and you would just see the savers, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. So that's probably the an easier way to do, to, uh, to see just the savers if you don't have a lot of space and then just reposition using A and B. Right, so that's about it. Uh, I'm going to do a recording of, what's it called? Like or Disco or something. Coro Disco. 
Uh, I've got a recording ready of this, so I'm going to record it, jump back over to the PC, and I'll show you how I edit. Okay, so we're back on the PC. Um, the first thing you want to do is, once you've recorded your videos on the Quest, open up Side Quest, and you go to Manage Files. Um, and you want to go to Oculus Video Shots and this is where your recordings will be um, then you just click this save This is quite a, f a small or a short video, so the file size isn't too bad. The higher your resolution as well, the the bigger the file size, the file size will be. Um, okay, so once they're done, close. Just disconnect the headset. Um, and then I use a program called Wondershare Filmora. Um, so I first thing I'll do is go to project settings, change it to 4K UHD, 60 frames per second, and I'll click this and select. Um, then I'll add that. And I want to keep the project settings. It will try and change it to this, but these three next to each other will make up this one. And I just drag these onto a different line. Boop. Um, now what I try and do is, first I'll look at where the audio starts. Just try and line these up a bit. There's probably easier ways to do this, but I'm no good at editing, so this is how I just eyeball it, basically. Alright. So, so I'll play that. Uh, and then what I'll do is position these, drag and drop. They like click into place. And I change this down to one eighth recording playback quality. It just speeds things up. Um now the hard part is getting three videos matched. So what I do is go to the first time the blocks are gonna be hit. Um and in Filmora at least, you can press left and right arrow keys and it will jump a frame. So, I notice that this one is slightly ahead, so I'll delay it. And Forgetting you have to click off it, also, otherwise it starts to move um, the video around up here. Uh, Yeah, it gets really annoying having to line these up, but 
The other annoying part is the first person smooth motion doesn't seem to um I don't know, it's it's almost like it's slightly varied in the the refresh rate because sometimes I'll line it up and it'll look correct, but then as the song goes on it will be very slightly out of line. So here's an another thing to do is use the lights in the background so you can see this frame dark, next frame lit. So that's about as close as I'm gonna get. So then what I'll do is stop it, play it, pause it when they're all dark and then if you hold shift as you click them all trim it get rid of the beginnings and now they're in line then what I'll do is turn the volume down on two of these this also um, when I talked about the uh, sometimes when you record on the Quest you get some sort of audio delay between like the picture and the sound this also uh, yeah it's handy to have three separate recordings because if it happens on one it might not happen on the other so I will play it listen to make sure that the audio is actually matching if it isn't matching I'll turn this one down turn another one up play it again and sometimes it will fit better this is just a problem with the Quest 2 recording there's not much you can do about it I think you can separate the audio and mess about but again I'm not really very good at editing so whatever um, so that's about it I'll then skip to the end wait for it black trim that and that's about it uh, I will just show you uh, where the hell are the settings I don't know but there's a setting I enabled um, for GPU acceleration or something like that um, and it massively sped up the encoding process um, so yeah afterwards you will create video you can name it if you like um, and in here as well the settings I have it set to um, the 80,000 80, 80, bit rate because I think that's what YouTube uses I did have this higher, I had it like 150,000, but it was a slower encode, and after trying both of them out on YouTube, I couldn't see any difference, so I assumed YouTube was just sort of downgrading this bit rate to the, the 80,000 bit rate, so yeah, I just thought encoded that bit rate is a little bit faster, uh, and then, uh, so yeah, there we go. And then you would just click export and it would create the video then. I'm not going to click it now because I don't think my computer would like me recording 4K while encoding 4K. So I'm going to stop the recording now uh, and that's about it. So after I've uploaded this guide I will upload the final recording as a separate video and you can see what it looks like. Thanks.